Welcome back guys to building a WordPress theme with Tailwind and underscores. Today we're going to finish up the post page and have that completely done. Alright, so let's get started on working on our theme. Let's go into this post 11. We have a, uh, an image set here. As you can see, the image is not on the post page. Uh, we also have these paragraphs that are all too close together to actually see that they're paragraphs. Um, and we also want to style the comments that are left on the page. Um, so first, let's uh, generate some comments. We can use the WordPress command line to generate comments for us on our post. We're on post 312 up here in the URL. So we can use that to generate comments for this post by saying WP comment. And you'll see in here we have a WP comment generate right here. Uh, you can give it a count a uh, post ID and a format. We'll just give it a count and post ID. So WP comment generate count of, let's do five comments and let's do post ID of 312. Generate our comments. Let's refresh the page. There we go. Now we have comments. Now we can go ahead and also leave a comment on a comment like this one here. This is a reply post comment. And now we have that comment embedded here. So let's get started on working on this page and finishing it up. First thing we want to do is add the post image here. So let's get started on that. All right, and PHP Storm, let's go to our template parts content. Now in here we had our two sections if you remember we had our single section for displaying a single post and then our other section which displays multiple posts. Uh, the mo multiple post one we're already showing the thumbnail so we can copy this. Now let's drop it up here and let's use a large size image. See how that looks. Alright now I want to make it centered and also, we need to make sure that this scales well with a smaller size. As you can see, it's kind of getting squished. We also have an issue where this is getting pushed off to the side. Uh, so we've got a few things to, to fix here. First thing I want to do is remove these margins. We're not going to need that for right now. Um, let's put this inside its own div. So let's close this. Open PHP again for the content. So now we have all this on one line. We can wrap it in a div. And now this div we can say text center. So that'll center our image on the page. There we go. Centered with the content here. Now we also want to make the height and width to be auto. And that way it will stay in the same aspect ratio as we make it smaller, it won't get squished. So let's just do here a width auto and height auto. Let's check that out. There we go. And as this scales down, well we can't see it because we have an issue there, uh, but the image will fit to the screen and not get that squished look on it. So now let's take a look at this issue that's happening here. Um, on this container we have a large margin on the right side uh, which is great when we have a large screen but not when we get to this tablet view. So let's change this to instead of being on the medium only on the large. Alright that fits a bit better. As we get smaller we still don't have quite enough room. There's this place right here in between small and medium where it starts to go off the side a little bit. So let's say instead of medium width two-third we'll say on large screen take up two-thirds of the width and now let's say on medium screens let's do one half the width that'll shrink it in quite a bit and we can also add in a margin here for medium let's do a margin right of four just to give it a little bit of extra spacing all right let's go ahead and copy this class Go to PHP Storm. Let's go to our single file. So 
So down to our single PHP right here. And right here where we have our primary, let's paste in our new classes and make sure it works. All right, so in small devices, it's all in one column. So we get bigger, pops out with a small column. As we get larger, it takes up a little more page space and a full screen looks pretty good. All right, now these paragraphs need some extra spacing, so that should be pretty easy to take care of. Let's see here, we have an article, and inside it we have multiple paragraphs. Let's wrap these paragraphs in, a, in something with a class that we can then style. It's back in PHP Storm. Let's go back over to our content.php file. Inside the is single, we have our content. Let's wrap this in a div. So wrapping around the content there. Let's indent this. Now let's give this a class of post content. Now let's go into SAS components. Let's make a new file called post.scss. And this will just be for our post styling here. And over in style, we need to uh, import it. Let's import components slash post. And actually, we don't need these file endings here, so let's get rid of that. All right, back to post. Now we had inside of our content, we had it called post content. So we have dot post content. Now we want every paragraph inside of here to have a little extra spacing. So let's add and apply. And let's do a margin Y, so top and bottom of two. See how that looks. All right, gives us a little bit more space. Maybe we should up that to four. So let's bump that up. All right, nice and spaced out so you can easily read it. So let's look at the last thing we want to style today on this post page, and that's going to be these comments. Um, every time you reply to a comment, we can reply again here. It's going to be indented a bit. Um, we have these numbers. That looks pretty terrible. Uh, we we'll probably want to make these a little bigger, go with some color so that they can stand out from one of each, one other. Uh, so let's let's uh, get to. So first, let's take a look at the structure that's generated by the comments. We have over here, we have an OL, so an ordered list, class of comment list. So let's go into our file here. We have one called comments. So we have our comment form, that's at the bottom. So let's start working above here. Um, thing that wraps everything is called comments area. So let's go ahead and create a class comments area. Now we can just work inside of here. Now we know we have an ordered list and we want to get rid of those numbers first so just like we did on the uh, the li elements to get rid of the bullet points we can apply a list reset there we go now that got rid of our indentation here so let's add that back in here so we want to add a padding left of four Maybe we need some more to make it stand out a little better. Let's jump that up to eight. There we go. All right, let's uh, style the background of these. So we want to style each of these articles. So it's going to be an article with a class of comment body. So let's go in here. We have an article class of comment body. Uh, let's apply Let's do a background of gray lighter. I think gray works really well with the teal. Let's go ahead and add a padding top and bottom of two, and a padding on the left and right of four. Let's see how that looks to start with. All right, it's taking shape. We can add a rounded corners, maybe a shadow medium. Let's see how that looks. Whoops. All right, let's add a little spacing in between these guys. So 
We'll do a margin on the bottom of two. There we go. As you can see, each indentation shows who you've replied to. I think that looks pretty decent. I'll add some space around the actual comment. So let's see what's in here. We have a paragraph inside a div with a class of comment content. So we have our comment body. Inside that we have our comment content. And let's add a margin on the top and bottom of two. There we go, it spaces out the actual reply from the metadata. Now I don't like how the text is on the bottom here where the next to the image. So let's use Flexbox to center these. Let's see what's in here. We have comment meta, comment body, author vcard. Here we go. So this div, comment author, this is set this is surrounding the image. Uh, the person's name and the word says. So if we change this and we add flex and items center, that'll put everything in line vertically and then we can add some spacing around the text itself. So let's grab comment author class. Go in here, comment author. Let's apply flex and items center. All right, so that's that's right where we were with uh, playing with putting the classes in here. Uh, next, we need to add some margin on the right of this image. This has a class of avatar. So let's do image class avatar and apply a margin right of 2. There we go. And now we also have this word says. That's a span class says. I'm just going to hide that because I don't really like it. So the span of class says, let's apply hidden, which is basically just a display none and tailwind. There we go. Let's also add a little bit of margin on the bottom of the comment author. So margin bottom of two. That'll add a little spacing between the date and the author up here. All right. I think I want to also increase the spacing here to four instead of two. So the comment content, let's bump that up to four. All right. Now let's finish this up by adding some spacing down here at the bottom. I think we can call it a day. So we have this wrapper called comments area. It has everything wrapped around it. Let's add uh, some spacing between the bottom of that and the footer. So let's go back here to comments area. Let's apply a margin bottom. Let's use our large one that we built into Tailwind a little while ago. There we go. Now we have this comment respond area. We can add a little margin top on that. So we have our comments form, which is inside our comment respond. So let's wrap this here. Comment respond. Now inside of here, we can apply a margin top of four. There we go, give us a little extra spacing there. We have our reply title, we should add some margin on that as well. Reply title, apply margin bottom of four. Did I do something wrong? Oh, it's comment reply title, my mistake. Leave a reply. Let's also add in some margin here. So we have our form comment. We have logged in as. Let's grab this logged in as. Actually, we'll just uh, append it here because we want to add the same margin. So both the comment reply title and the logged in as class. 
will have margin bottom of four. There we go. Now if we log out, we have a little bit different look here where we have the name and email if they're not logged into WordPress. So let's take a final look at the post page real quick and see what we've accomplished. We've got our post image in here. We have the paragraphs easily to read. We've styled our comments here, which works even with replying with the indentation. And we have our reply form. I think this looks pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we're going to dive into building a customizer page for adding social icons to the header and footer of our site. So make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.